guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to have the perfect firework night. I'm going to base this video on if you're having people over or if you're going to someone's house for firework night because it's, I guess it's quite a big thing in this country. Like, you can always hear fireworks wherever you are on firework night. So I thought I'd do a video on it. Before we get started, I just want to say, if you guys do enjoy this video, then please, please give it a thumbs up. I want to try and smash 300 likes on this video. I don't know if it's going to be doable on a video like this, but you can try it anyway. So the first thing you're going to need on firework night is obviously fireworks. Fireworks are something that I am kind of a little bit scared of, so I would never do them myself and I would never advise anyone who watches this channel to do it themselves. I would usually get like my dad to do it or or something like that because they can be so, so dangerous and if they go wrong and someone's near it, there needs to be someone who knows what to do in an event of emergency, I guess. Obviously you can't buy fireworks over, um, over the age of 18, of course you can. Obviously you can't buy fireworks under the age of 18, which I totally think is right. I personally think they should up it to 21. Um, but they haven't yet, so. Before you guys go out and buy fireworks and let them off in your garden, I would suggest really thinking about it and getting a proper adult who has done it before to do it for you. You can still have a fantastic firework night, just don't be responsible for fireworks. The second thing you guys are gonna need are blankets or coats or woolly jumpers or something like that because standing outside in the freezing cold in November for ages while the fireworks are being set up, while they're going off for ages and blah, 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 you're gonna be pretty cold. So you're gonna need something to wrap around you. I always like a blanket because it feels more like firework nighty, I don't, know if that's even a thing but I'm sure you guys will know what I mean. So just make sure you wrap up really warm. The next thing you guys are going to need are nibbles and drinks. So the kind of nibbles I envisage on firework night are things like melted chocolate and strawberries and marshmallows being dipped in and really wintry kind of things like s'mores and although I don't actually know if I know how to make s'mores but I'm sure it's pretty easy if you look it up. And the drinks that you guys want are things like tea, hot chocolate, and stuff like that. Things that are gonna keep you really warm when you're standing outside. And things that, I know it sounds silly, but things that are gonna bring people together in the winter. And I find that food and drink can really bring people together in the winter. Does this sound like I'm being like totally stupid? I don't know. So the next thing you guys are going to need are great people at your fireworks night. Obviously you wouldn't have a party with not great people, but people you invite will absolutely make the night for you. You need people who are going to really be in the spirit of fireworks night. Which brings me on to my next point. You guys are going to need to be in the spirit of a firework night. My hair is going weird. So this year, the way I'm gonna get in the spirit is through doing some really interesting makeup for firework night. Obviously, people don't dress up for this particular night. People don't usually do face makeup, but I think it'll be a really, really cool thing, and I think I could get some really good pictures and shots with this particular makeup, so I'm gonna do it anyway. And here's how I'm gonna do it. And the very last thing you guys are gonna need are loads and loads and loads of candles. So I have a proper candle obsession at the moment. I suggest just going out and buying a load of tea lights. And I don't know if you guys saw my video from like my DIY Halloween making video, 
But I got some tea lights, put them in jars that I'd collected uh, from my mum's cooking and stuff and made my own little candle holders which I think was so cute and now I have them up in my bedroom and I've got five or six of them now and when they're all together they look absolutely amazing. I wouldn't even bother with the smelly candles because people are going to be outside and you won't be able to smell it outside and stuff. So I'd just stick to the jars and the tea lights if I were you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you're doing on Firework Night. And if any of you guys try any of the things I said today, then please tweet it to me. You'll find the links down below on where you can find my Twitter, Instagram and everything else. So I hope you all have a fabulous firework night and I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye.